The main issue is the, the trial of the 28th of September 2009. Um, the, there were uh, a lot of victims, and most of the victims were women. So through our programs, such as uh, the PARJU, which is the uh, support program for, to the reform of justice uh, in Guinea, and through IDHR, uh, we supported the women uh, at the accompanying them uh, in the judicial uh, trial um, and also uh, giving medical and psychological support. We created uh, working groups such as the gender one, the first one. Um, it's quite successful because uh, it's uh, working groups um, including uh, local NGOs, international NGOs, um, the EU and uh, the EU delegation and the member states. And uh, through that working group, we prepare the, the, the NGOs to become a, a real force to um, present gender issues to the ministries, uh, such as the Ministry of Justice, of uh, the social action of uh, human rights. Uh, the, um, the issues, the serious issues tackled in, the, in that uh, working group is uh, uh, um, FGM, so uh, female genital mutilation, uh, gender-based violence, slavery, early marriage. Gender in, uh, in the delegation is, uh, has been mainstreamed in the, our several programs and uh, it's really starting with those working groups and uh, we hope that uh, uh, as the NGOs are very weak to tackle those kind of issues, they don't have the resources, they don't have the knowledge or the competences, we accompany them and um, uh, we, we try to improve their coordination, their synergy, so that they become a real force to tackle the issue of gender. Because tackling the, the issue uh, ourselves for programs is really not enough. NGOs uh, can be a real force of advocacy and action before the, the, the ministries. And we try to make them work online with the action plan uh, of the ministries and also uh, the, the gap to gender action plan of uh, the EU.